December 7th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 4 from the Old Testament. Listen, children, to a father's instruction and pay attention so that you may gain discernment. Because I give you good instruction, do not forsake my teaching. When I was a son to my father, a tender only child before my mother, he taught me and he said to me, Let your heart lay hold of my words. Keep my commands so that you will live. Acquire wisdom. Acquire understanding. Do not forget and do not turn aside from the words I speak. Do not forsake wisdom and she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Wisdom is supreme, so acquire wisdom. And whatever you acquire, acquire understanding. Esteem her highly and she will exalt you. She will honor you if you embrace her. She will place a fair garland on your head. She will bestow a beautiful crown on you. Listen, my child, and accept my words so that the years of your life will be many. I will guide you in the way of wisdom, and I will lead you in upright paths. When you walk, your steps will not be hampered, and when you run, you will not stumble. Hold on to instruction. Do not let it go. Protect it, because it is your life. Do not enter the path of the wicked or walk in the way of those who are evil. Avoid it. Do not go on it. Turn away from it and go on. For they cannot sleep unless they cause harm. They are robbed of sleep until they make someone stumble. For they eat bread gained from wickedness and drink wine obtained from violence. But the path of the righteous is like the bright morning light, growing brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like gloomy darkness. They do not know what causes them to stumble. My child, pay attention to my words. Listen attentively to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. Guard them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and healing to one's entire body. Guard your heart with all vigilance. For from it are the sources of life. Remove perverse speech from your mouth. Keep devious talk far from your lips. Let your eyes look directly in front of you and let your gaze look straight before you. Make the path for your feet level so that all your ways may be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Turn yourself away from evil. God, it is so hard. (laughs) It's so hard not to turn right or to the left. We have so many distractions in this world. From the obvious, the sparkly things, the things that are idols, the things that are our sin areas. And then we have a lot of very subtle things. I was talking to uh, one of the high school girls at church today, and she was telling me how both of her parents are Christian, uh, but her dad works six days a week, and the only day he has off is Sunday. And he, according to her, uses that as an excuse not to go to church. And she says, I really want him to go to church. All he's doing is watching TV or reading a book anyways. Uh, How to the mouth of babes. So sometimes it can be that kind of almost Christian apathy that many of us have gone through, maybe are in right now. Uh, where we just want to do what we feel is the bare minimum to get by. We honestly think that there's some sort of level that's okay with you. Um, There's nowhere in the Bible where you say that doing just enough to get by is okay with you. Uh, We know we have to be all in for you. Our hearts, our minds, uh, everything that we do is supposed to glorify you. So a lot of times that turning right or to the left can sometimes just be almost a, a softening or a, or a deadening of things that we get into the habit of doing. I'm in a really bad habit right now. Um, I just intentionally realized this uh, the other day. I'm in a really bad habit that sometimes I get up in the morning uh, and I rush too much. Um, now I always have a trillion things to do, but sometimes in that rush to get to my checklist, Um, there's not a lot of pieces of that checklist that are about you, God. They're about my to-do list for that day. Same thing with people. Uh, I I did it today uh, unintentionally, but again, it's kind of that slackening, uh, that apathy that we get into. I have this really bad habit of checklisting. um, And I walked into the church today, get something done, and and there was 
uh, one of the people I know there. Uh, he's also one of my friends. And I, I said a quick, hi, how are you doing? Da, 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 da. And, and then I went straight to the task and he actually followed me into the other room and started a relationship conversation with me. How's it going? How did feeding the homeless yesterday go? How did things go with so-and-so? What did this look like? He truly cared about what had been happening in my life the last couple of days. And my whole intent was just to get done with that to-do list. I was looking to the right or to the left. I wasn't looking forward at all. Because if I was looking forward, I would be intentional about doing my relationships with other people, God. God, just allow me to be fully aware of you. When I'm getting up in the morning and I'm kind of groggy, I still have the ability, the mind ability to get my to-do list done. So I definitely still have the ability to talk to you, uh, read your word, start my day right. God, I know if I was intentional, that even though I might be in a big hurry that day, that what you have planned for me is going to be more important. And if that day is about relationships, then I just need to slow my life down. You'll figure out, and you always do, you'll figure out how to get those other things done for me. But right then and there, I need to work on that relationship. And you've truly blessed my days where I have stopped everything that I wanted to do, things my way, and have done the path that day the way you were asking me to. Those days are glorious and exciting, and they just overwhelm my heart with so many emotions. I love those days that it's all about you, God. Yet I get into this really bad habit of making it again, backtracking all about Janelle, all about what I want. God, allow that focus to be in my life. Not just today, but I truly want my focus every single day in all the things I do to be that connection between you and I, that communication. Is this really what you want me to be doing? And if so, how can I do it to the best of my abilities? What does this look like to you, God? Is this a conversation? Is this a long-term relationship where perhaps I get to disciple this person? What does this look like to you? And then allow the gifts and talents you've already given me to glorify you in that relationship, that process, that shopping trip, whatever it is that you, you provide opportunities for me to talk to people. It seems that in the last couple of weeks, especially you've put so many, oh my goodness, so many opportunities in my life where I've gotten a chance to talk to people about you, whether it's for five minutes or for some of them, it's been a couple hour long conversation. And with some of them, it's even started to grow into, we're starting to meet every single week. God, that just doesn't get any more exciting. Allowing me to be part of that plan that you have of helping guide people in, in your truth and your way. God, I want to get better at your truth and your way so that I can help other people as well. God, keep my eyes on you. Keep my eyes on the future of what really matters. And truly, I don't give a lot of stock to things mattering that much here in this world, at least not the worldly things. The things that do matter are the things that you put into my life. God, don't allow me to be distracted to the right or to the left by anything. Keep my heart and my mind focused on your words. And the only way that I can do that is continuing to be in conversation with you and continue to be in your word and continue to be with other believers. The moment I stop doing that is when Satan distracts me with something to the right or to the left. Establish my path, God, that it may be only your path for me and then it glorify you and it glorifies your kingdom. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen.